Hey everyone, uh, today I'd like to talk about how to use STV to auto resize your cells based on their contents. And STV will do this even on iOS 7, where Apple does not provide their own um, uh, mechanism for resizing the cells. So, what I have here is a basic STV template, and that's that the R standard tasks application. So, let me just quickly run here. So th these are our tasks and each task has a name and a details field and the details are showing here in case you're wondering why the details are showing here it's simply because uh, we've used the STV feature of uh, setting the description uh, property to details and once you do that STV just automatically displays whatever the contents of this property and the subtitle uh, here in the cell. So our Everything is working here except the fact that I, I'd like to display the full full details here in my root view controller. So uh, let me return um, to the Reeve object section here. And as we all know, uh, this cell is representative of all the cells generated. So let me just change the type of the cell from subtitle to custom since I'd like to add my own labels here. Uh, I'll just resize it to any comfortable size, any size that I'm comfortable with uh, laying out my labels. This size doesn't really matter since STV will resize this up later anyway. I'll, uh, I'll drag a couple of labels here, one for the name and one for the details. You're not limited at all by the number of labels you place here. And uh, I'll use our curly brace binding to bind this to name. So once I enter a name like this, this label is bound to the name property. Of the of the task, I'll add another label for the detail, and just let me quickly uh, set some background colors here so that I would see what what STV is really doing. And again, I'll curly bra brace bind this to details. Oops. And since this is going to be a multiple uh, line of text, I need to set this to either zero or the maximum number of lines I'd like to display. So I'll, uh, I want this to resize indefinitely here, so I'll just set it to zero. And uh, the line breaks, I'd like to have it to word, word wrap. I can use either character app or word wrap. In this case, I'd like to word wrap. Uh, if I if I don't select this, there might be some resizing issues because of just stale truncating. So I'm I'm basically ready here to set some uh, auto layout constraints for these labels to, to to correctly resize in all page layouts. So uh, let me select this here. Oh. Pin it to the top and to the sides. Notice these say zero since um, constraint to margins is checked. If you don't like your these values to be relative to the margins, just uncheck this, and it's, it shows us eight here, eight points from the sides. So I'll add these three constraints. I'll go to my details label. Same thing. I'd like. Uh, to the bottom, to the top, and to the sides. Um, for some reason, it says 7.5 here. Uh, I, be I, I believe it's a bug. I'm just going to change this to 8, since there isn't really a, like, a meaning for a 0.5 uh, of a pixel here. I, I, I believe this is going to be fixed in a future version of Xcode. Again, th this is just the auto layout engine here, nothing to do with STV. I'll add these four constraints. And I'll see here that Xcode is complaining about something. Notice that I haven't used any height constraints, which means that I'd like the auto layout engine to, to use the intrinsic height of the label, which basically depends on the font uh, uh, type and size you select. So since I'm, I'm stretching my controls from the very top, 
of the cell to the very bottom of the cell. I've specified that they need to fill this space. Xcode is wondering which label to stretch out. Of course, whatever resizing I've done here for the labels is simply irrelevant. Uh, Xcode needs to know which of these two labels is going to be stretched out. And this is where the content um, hugging priority comes in. So if I again select the name label here, uh, go to the sizing pane, and uh, for the content hugging priority, I'm going to have the vertical content hugging to, of the name uh, label to a higher priority here. Uh, this, yeah, and the, and, and all the, the the errors have disappeared. But you can think of this as the name label wants to hug itself more, so it's going to stay more compact here. So this should basically be it. The most important thing to notice here is that from the top all the way to the bottom, I have constraints specifying how the cell height is going to be filled with all my controls. Again, I'm, I'm not limited at all to just two labels or uh, laying them out in this configuration. I'm just keeping it simple here for the sake of demonstrating this to you. So let me just run here and see what's going on. Okay, so as I can see here, cells are correctly resizing and they're gonna automatically resize themselves when I, once I enter the landscape mode and everything seems to be fine. Uh, with the exception of some uh, auto layout errors I'm getting here, which uh, is basically relating to the 7.5 bug I, I, uh, I discussed earlier uh, with this the, the very last vertical constraint here. And it's complaining that it cannot satisfy the 8 here that I have. It. For some reason, wants to make it 7.5. So one, one easy way around this is come here to the to the constraints property and reduce the priority from required to high and I will run like one more time and yes I, I've got no issues here now and everything is just resizing correctly uh, so this was a sh short short overview of how STV resizes yourselves and thank you very much